So what's up, me again, we're going to continue flying the P-51 in DCS and continuing with the challenge campaign that comes with it when you buy the module. Currently on mission 4, which is... Oh, regular landing. Okay. Let's just uh, get on with it. After changing my paint job, of course. So, uh, again, if you're new to flight simulators or DCS in general, or are transitioning into the Mustang from a jet, this is going to take a bit of getting used to. Um, and I'll explain that as we go. Um, now, like I said in a previous video, uh, one of the ways I got better at flying the Mustang is setting up a take off on the on the runway taking off and landing and just flying the uh, traffic pattern again and again until I felt comfortable with it um, but this mission has a bunch of gates as you'll see here in a second that kind of help you through it I think it's in an overhead pattern as opposed to like a standard like left hand pattern uh, which is also called a military pattern or overhead break or whatever uh, it's a way to kind of overfly the runway make a series of hard turns, you know, overfly the runway at a fairly high speed and make a series of turns to bleed the speed off to minimize exposure. Uh, at least that's the idea. But um, what I found during this mission is that if you're new, you may focus on hitting those gates more than controlling your airspeed and your attitude and your vertical speed. We'll attend to that. So I'm actually moving at a pretty good clip, but I'm at like 240. So I'm going to put down one setting of flaps to kind of get my speed under control. You notice I climbed a little bit because of it. You also want your propeller uh, RPM set full high at 3000. And the reason for that is you want. In, in a landing situation, you want instant response to your uh, prop, either accelerating or decelerating. Higher RPMs facilitate that. So we're going to take these turns kind of aggressively to bleed that speed off. And we're going to go into a dive, and the Mustang dives excellently. It's very slippery, very aerodynamic. So as you dive, it's harder to bleed the speed off. So we want to manage that by turning harder and deploying another setting of flaps. Once I get below 200, like right about now, I'm going to drop the landing gear. That'll get your speed under control real quick. And as my speed decelerates, I'm going to add more and more flaps. Drop the speed a little bit, drop manifold pressure down to, what is it, 15, 16? The ultimate goal is to touch down at about 90 miles per hour airspeed. So we're at 150, and as we go into the dive, we're going to tend to hang on to our speed or, at least, or even accelerate. And that's part of the reason why you put the prop speed as high as it goes, because the prop itself at low engine power will kind of act as a way to slow you down. Throw it back a little bit. Another setting of flaps. Keep my descent rate under control. So flaps, as you probably already know, they do increase lift, but they also slow you down. They also lower your stall speed, allowing you to fly, basically it changes the shape of the wing to allow you to fly slower at lower, you know, uh, well, it does a bunch of things, but it allows you to fly slower without dropping out of the sky at a speed penalty. Another thing it allows you to do is kind of keep the engine revs high. So let's say you've got your engine revving up a little bit, but you've got the drag on the from the flaps slowing you down. If you need the speed, sometimes you can just pull the flaps up and you'll accelerate. Which is similar to using the speed brake and landing in the L39, but I'll get to that some other time perhaps. So 
I'm going to drop my nose a little bit. Drop my flaps fully. Chop the throttle. I have about 120, but this is going to be a bit of a steep descent, I think. Yeah, I'm going to rest that a little bit. Dropping too fast. Just want to get the gates. You don't need to get the gates in this mission, I think. You just need to touch down and slow to a stop. That looks like a decent glide slope right there. So what you do is you're circling around the runway and your traffic pattern is pick a spot on the runway you want to land at. Kind of keep that in view and aim for it. It's like aim point landing. Slow throttle back just a bit. I'm aiming for that dark spot on the runway closest to us. Drifting below glide slope, so I increase power to compensate. It does take some adjustment to think of your throttle as a way to climb, but that's kind of how it is. And in the landing pattern especially, if you want to slow down, you pull back on the stick, and if you want to speed, speed up, you push forward on the stick. The throttle is more of an... think of the throttle more of like an altitude control, and your pitch is more of a speed control. It'll help you a little bit. They both do both, but... Right, a little fast, I'm at about 110, I want to touch down at 90. So as I get close to the ground, you'll notice I kind of slow down abruptly right about here. It's the ground effect. And that kind of softens your landing a little bit. Retract the flaps. And as you touch down, it's important to keep use your rudder to keep your plane pointed straight. Um, maybe one time I'll demonstrate all the mistakes you can make. So you can kind of see what happens and what I did wrong and what the results are going to be. Let's say if you add... Like if you're, if you're coming in kind of sideways in the lane and you can easily ground loop and all that kind of stuff. And once you get slow enough, you can gradually, easily use wheel brakes to slow the plane down to a stop. You have managed to land. Landing the Mustang can be quite a challenge. It can. Next to the mission now to move to the next mission. And normally I'd head off to a taxiway, but let's instead just park in the grass and go for through a shutdown. Stick forward, left toe brake, and spin around. Right toe brake to stop the spin. Full stop. Mags off, fuel booster off, electricity off, fuel off. I'll see it probably a million more times, but that is a damn good looking airplane. Alright. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. See you next mission when we're probably going to be landing in a crosswind. And that'll bring its own challenges. So uh, we'll get to that in a second.